Hello everybody, my name is Katakuna and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode we got another uh, brush technique. Um, we got uh, this stop time. I don't know, I can't remember the actual name of the uh, of what we got here. But um, yeah, in this episode we're gonna go and use this to our advantage somehow and you're just gonna have to see what happens and whatnot. Um, but anyways, what you wanna do is head back over to where we how, we, how we first came in over here. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's do that. And then we can use our cool new time-stopping abilities to uh, get those, these spider things that have been blocking the way. Oh, no, that's, that's not it. I don't, well, I also don't want a close-up of the face, man. It's pretty, well, okay. Okay, fine then. Um, yeah, so we want to, what we want to do is, <clears throat> want to head back over here, I think? Pretty sure, yeah. Uh, we don't have to listen to her. Yeah, you want to, you want to head back over here. Um, and like I said before, it doesn't really matter how you draw the two lines, just, uh, just make sure that you do draw two straight lines, um, in any way. So, you know. No, sir. I don't, I don't appreciate your foot on me. That's, uh, that's not what I want to have ha happening. Anyways. We got these bamboo shoots, and we also have, um, a box that you soon can open up. What is it? <coughs> Infinity Stone. I will take that. Thank you, I love Infinity Stones. Um, okay, and then we have another bamboo shoot, just like in the spring. Uh, and, you know, you, you know what to do, pretty much. Fill it with water, and then we'll... Yeah. And then... Oh. I want this to be raised up. <clears throat> and then you gotta run for it. Just gotta do it, man. Uh, and then we have one of these, I forget what they're called too, but oh my god. I almost didn't make that. I almost didn't make that. Almost. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, whoa, whoa. That guy does not look at all good. Hmm? Hey, look over there, Ami. Isn't that the Emperor? <clears throat> I'd heard that he was sick in bed, but I never expected him to be the source of that funky mist. Now, how are we gonna straighten out this royal oaf? I mean, we're still too big to fit through that mosquito net. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to find a way, won't we? Yep. Okay, so, I wanna get on these guys. Man, this part will always remind me, um, of, well, my friend, he does not, <laughs> he's super afraid of spiders, like, he has a, he's, he just, spiders are not, um, you know, he just, he just does not like spiders, and this, this always reminds me of him, uh, and esp especially coming up here, because there are going to be a lot of spiders, uh, sometimes he watches my videos, you know who you are, you know, you know who I'm, you know, you, you know that you are who I'm talking about. Um, I can't explain anything. See, look at this. I don't know how we would be able to do this because he's so afraid of spiders. Also, these spiders look really freaky. Like, not gonna lie. They, they, uh, ooh, They're spiders that I would not want to come in contact with ever in my life. I think if I were to ever really come in contact with these spiders, like, I would freak out and cry or something. I don't know, because they're really freaky. I and mean, I don't like, I don't like spiders either. Spiders are not my friend. They're really freaky and they move weirdly. Uh, I don't like spiders at all. Uh, but I can tolerate this because it's, it's a video game. It's fine. Oh no. Um, I guess the game was like, no, you got, uh, 
Uh, I guess it's punishing me because it's like, man, you better like spiders because there's a lot of spiders here. But god, just look at that face. Oh god, that's freaking weird, man. That is freaky. I don't, I don't, don't quite like it. Okay, these, these guys will move really, really, really fast once you are on them. So, uh, you want to slow down time to, uh, get on them. And when you are on them, slow down. So that on time, it was frick. Actually, uh, that, that was weird, actually. Um, actually, um, it's really funny when you get knocked off by these guys because you're just completely, like, it just kind of flings you off and it's really funny. I don't know, I find that funny, but maybe you don't. Who knows? Um, so yeah, uh, let's continue on this way. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know how much, you know what? We're, we're almost to a safe point. We're almost too stable. Uh, so I'm not going to bother. Oh, why? Oh. <laughs> oh, great. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, God. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to, uh. Go to fill up. Because I only have one. Wow, I've been just. Falling off. Okay. Okay, we're done with that. We're done with that. Um. Oh my god, that's weird. His eyes are. Okay. Uh, check it out, Ami. The Emperor's directly below us. It's like the Royal Oaf's mouth is just begging us to dive in. So, um, you know our motto leap before we think, right? Right. We Into the <laughs> Emperor's mouth we go. Ugh, gross, okay. Are we inside the Emperor's body now? Wow, Ami, you're one fearless wolf. Should be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Uh, it's like your uvula. Hey, what's that funny looking thing? Oh, I know. It's the dangly thing that hangs uh, in the back of your throat. I bet if we tickle it, the royal oaf will see I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like, does, I don't. I, I've always, like, heard that you just throw up when you, when your uvula gets touched, but anyways, I'm not an expert on that. That's probably your best way of getting out of here. Yeah. Okay, save it for later, go and, okay. So yeah, let's just, uh, save that for later, I guess. Uh, oh no, oh, oh my gosh, they, uh, they did a really good job making this look so incredibly gross. Oh my gosh. Um, I know there's a save mirror there. I wonder what's in there. Feeling we're uh, we're in for trouble. You're not gonna turn back now, are you, Ami? Um, actually, um, I, I just want to see if I uh, not chickening out. Thanks. Um, oh yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna save here, um, but I am just okay, ready now, Ami. Okay, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to. Uh, Re regain my health uh, because there's a boss fight coming. Boss fight. Did I say that right? I don't. I don't know. I, I've I've actually gone back to a pretty bad sleeping schedule, and I know I I, I told myself I was going to like uh, just get better about my sleeping schedule lately, but I just can't. Um, but anyways, get ready for one of the coolest cutscenes in Okami. Uh, this is one of my favorite student cutscenes cut right here. It's just really, really cool. Just like the very literal definition of epic, really, I think. Oh man, that. Oh, anyways, no way, this is intense. That mist, it's alive, Ami. Huh. Whoa, that is an awesome looking sword. Oh my gosh, I love this enemy's um, design. And that sword is so cool. <clears throat> so this is Blight. Under my control, this body breathes, breathes evil mist over the city. This is the, uh... The, the, yeah, this is the guy who's been doing that. And you, Mutt, you dare attempt to clear the skies of my poison? Uh, waging battle with me inside a human's body will be no easy task. Even now, Goldnail, the mighty sword, cries out for your blood. 
come step forward so that I, the indomitable blight, may cut you down. And look at Isun. Isun's such a badass right here. It's so awesome. Just, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll step forward, all right. You're a real piece of work, Blight. Better say your prayers. You uncultured wretch. Be warned. We are in the very bowels of the Emperor. If we fight here, his body will not. Give me a break. A little action here will help him wake up. But never mind that. You're the one behind that poisonous mist. Or poisonous. Possessing a human may be an elaborate trick. But it ends now. With my su su supreme, oh, supreme blade, um, Dekumaru, I, the magnificent Isun, shall rend that hunk of junk of you, you, you call a sword. And then he tries to do that, but then he gets recalled by Amaterasu, only to remind him that we are partners. All right, so this is Blight. He will, uh, he will like do that, and then he'll like charge. I recommend just uh, jumping because it throws him off, and then, um, yeah, he'll, he'll just do that um, until he does that. And then what you want to do is power slash all, well, all of his swords. Ah, oh, frick! I press B, man. Ugh. Um, anyways, once his, uh, God, no. Oh, yeah. frick! Okay, I messed that one up. Oh, okay, I also messed that up. Um, I usually just, like, again, jumping and double jumping is so helpful because it'll throw them off. Anyways, let me redeem myself here. He'll do that. You want to power slash all of them. That sword, um, will, uh, will, will stay like that. Um, you want to use your veil of mist to stop time or else this will go by too, too quick. And you won't get, um, very many attacks in, but if you stop time or slow down time, you can get a lot more attacks in and, oh gosh, okay, um, but, uh, if you don't, you'll only have a short amount of time and, um, you only get, like, half the hits in that you normally would, but, uh, anyways, uh, just rinse and repeat this, uh, it's, it's not a very hard fight, if you just jump around, wait for him to attack, or using, like, using his, uh, or summon, summon his blades, and then like that, and then just power slash them all. Uh. Oh god, okay. <sighs> yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll happen sometimes. Uh. And then just wail on a sword. Just rinse and repeat. And I, I often forget to like... Uh. Yeah. Oh god, okay. Sometimes I'm too busy, like, wailing on him to, uh, to, to, to draw my veil of mist, and I don't get as many hits in, but usually you can do this within two to, two to three turns if you're, if you're pretty consistent, I think. Um, if you, if you know how to, oh, shoot. See? Talking, talking and, and doing this at the same time is, uh, is, uh, is, is pretty pretty difficult. Um, oh god. Well, okay. Oh god, I'm actually doing really bad. Like I, I usually do pretty pretty well. Uh, just jump around. That's that's the thing. Just jump around until he does that, and then yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. I don't even care if I get bad bad time on this. It just whatever. Or bad damage, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get bad damage and time. Uh because of course I'm using the glaive and the glaive. If it was like a mirror, mirrors are my favorite to use because they're quick and they're also they deal a lot of damage. I mean maybe not as much as a glaive does, but a, a significant amount. But um Speaking of that, we get, we get, um, for, for the feeding blight, we get a rosary. We obtain divine instrument exorcism bleeds. Exorcism beads, yeah, exorcism bleeds. Rosary that contains the holy light. Oh, okay, whatever. Blight, a deceit, uh, 
a disease re residing within the Emperor's body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed sword Goldnail, was a source of all that acrid, ac acrid, acrid, I don't know if I'm saying that right, mist that had plagued the capital citizen. But even the cre a creature so despicable as a f uh, and full of hatred was no match for our, our interpreted yeah, heroes Amaterasu and Isu. Blight's defeat brought with it a lifting of the acrid fog. Acrid. I don't know how to say that word. Yet. <laughs> big words. Not just big words. They're just words I don't use every day, I guess. The Emperor, now freed of the evil's influence, returned to normal. Amaterasu and the others had earned a brief moment of respite. However, evil conspired to cut the tranquil scene short. When Golden Nail's defeated form uh, rose the familiar blackness. The spirit of evil and hatred that had resided within the sword Black as midnight and deep as the sea, rose slowly skyward. Make no mistake, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that dispersed from Old Ochi's broken body. Looking steadily at Rose, then it shot off toward the distant sea and over the horizon. It moved with purpose as if to rendezvous with a lost friend. Amaterasu and the others had no time to rest. They were truly to restore the capital to its normal routine. They still had to deal with the threat of the water dragon. This tale is far from over. Hey, you! Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> I love you soon. You had it coming, big time, gas bag. <laughs> you aren't even in the same league as the magnificent Isu. Hey, it wasn't just it wasn't you, man. It was me doing all that, pretty much. Well, Furball, that's that. How about one of those victory howls? Oh wait, I almost forgot. That babe Kagi is still locked up. Hmm, yes, that is a problem. What are we gonna do about it? Oh man. Man, they did such a good job, like, just, uh, just, uh, anyways. Oh wait, so, <laughs> seems Pops is still sneezing away. How about we just take control and Make him unlock herself. Huh. Oh. How, how are we gonna do that, Isu? That's a good idea, but like, if you can actually do it, I'd give you like a cookie or something. I don't know. Why bother with waking him up to explain everything anyway? Huh? You don't get it, do you? Watch and learn, my furry friend. Just go jump around. <clears throat> Uh, this is uh, all good and dandy here, but uh, what the what what is that going to accomplish? I don't get it. First, I'll stir up his stomach like this, and then, and then magically we have control over his actions and his body. What the yikes! Oh, but look at that! We got the uh, somehow we got him to stand up. What the? Hey, are you okay, Ami? Looks like we managed to make the Emperor stand up. Come on, we gotta get out uh, this royal oaf moving. Let's give him uh, over. Let's get him over to where they're holding Kagi. All right, I guess we'll. <laughs> I like how we're still like into. I'll, 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 I can't even go into my fan menu. <laughs> Your Highness, you're well enough to, to walk around again. That Kagi girl is in prison, just as you ordered, sir. But she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Er, um, not that I'm doubting your bountiful wisdom, your highness. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, forget, for just, yeah, never mind. Um, your highness, I know that you're, um, I know you have already refused to see a doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek tre treatment. Some people are even starting to say that your Ill illness is what- Er, um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. All of them are... Traitors? Oh, whatever, I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyways, we're now, or somehow, 
at Kaguya's uh, little cell here. Are you the Emperor? But if you're here, does that mean those two are? Oh dear, it's all my fault. How shall I ever apologize? Hmm, let's see. How about you start off by making me 100 dumplings? Huh? <laughs> Just pulling your legs, sweetie. That voice! <clears throat> you think we'd, you think we'd buy the farm that easy? The emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. But we took care of that thing- of that- er, of that thing should get to normal soon. Now let's make this royal oak open your cell. Let's see. And we, just like that, we, uh, we, yeah. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd never get out of there. <laughs> no time for chit-chat, bamboo girl. <laughs> we freed the Emperor from that monster, or that, yeah, that monster controlling him. But things are still a bit dicey around here. Oh, uh, we're gonna hightail it out of this place. I should just you do too. Let's see here. Oh yeah, Gucci Gucci Goo. And we heal. <laughs> and we're big again. Look at that. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can tell that. Uh, tell what you want to do, Ami. I agree. That'll make it feel like we've set things straight here. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now give one of those victory howls to wake up the emperor. And without further ado, victory howl, just like every um, every end of a boss battle. <laughs> of course. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh my god, this is so bad. I'm so ashamed. Anyways, of course I would. Alright, we have a little bit more time before the end of the video, so uh, let's chit-chat with the Emperor for a little bit. Huh, I wonder what that- what was wrong with me. People say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya. And I remember a secret treasure for, a cr for crossing a sea of fire. But I've totally lost my memory of what happened after that. It's almost like I was possessed by a strange spirit. Haha, <laughs> that didn't happen. Totally not. Didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, but talk, talk about your troublesome em emperor. But Kaguya's safe and all... Guess we can cut him some slack. A uh, white, a white wolf, and a curious bouncing ball. I have an uncanny feeling that I had a dream about you two. I must apologize to Queen Himiko for my unforgivable blunders. Himiko, yes, that's it, Ami. This city is a complete mess, and Queen Himiko's not doing a damn thing about it. <laughs> I feel like Isun would probably say that. There's no excuse for her just sitting around in her palace. Boy, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Uh, that lovely white wolf. For some reason, I seem to feel so relaxed when you're around. I have this peaceful feeling, as if you know me inside out. <laughs> oh, I know you from the inside, believe me. <laughs> Anyways, he is a collector of demon fangs, and we can um, trade our demon fangs here. Uh, and this is why I wanted 100 demon fangs. Um, what we can buy is uh, a golden ink pot, and it increases ink restoration speed. So I definitely want to get that. Um, there's also this um, this fog pot, which um, allows us to trans. Like it's it's kind of like. Um, Come and visit me again when you have more teeth. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're still, we still have, uh, um, but anyways, that, uh, that, 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 um, fog thing, uh, it, it allows you to do fast travel just like the, uh, the mermaid coins do, but, um, yeah, the only thing is, uh, well, 
See, we, we get that in like a, at a later point anyways, so I don't want to get it now. Um, oh, just a little bit of a spoiler, but you guys don't know when, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, anyways, there's a stray bead. I, I'm pretty sure this is the stray bead. Or if it's, 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 it's here, the stray bead. Yep, got it. Okay. And is there anything else? Um, there, there are quite a few things buried here and there. So I'm gonna try and get them all just because I don't... <laughs> it annoys me when I don't get these things that are like sticking out of the ground. Because I know that they can be like... They can be had. I can get them. Also, pearls sell for a very large amount of money. Um, I don't know. Everything, every, time, every time I think of Pearl, I think of Steven Universe. I've actually been watching...